Right, I am recording. I've got a couple of videos that I'm basically recording this morning, or basically um, lunchtime-ish, because I've got a few um, things that I want to talk about. And um, the first one is relating to my holiday, or particularly um, something that I do like, and that is saucy postcards. If you know what, if you don't know what they are, basically it's um, when you go to a lot of seasides. Sometimes they have postcards that you can actually buy, and they're saucy ones. They have rude messages on there, and they make you laugh. And I like them, although I do believe that I don't think everybody likes them now, because I've got a funny feeling that um, very less are being sold because of this day and age where it's a PC. And people don't have a laugh about them, but they're innocent as far as I'm concerned. It's my kind of humour. And when I went to Blackpool, we actually picked up a few of them like that and i really do love them like for instance um it's got here i never see their father no he only pops in twice a year to read the meter some of them are funnier than others i have my favorite ones and that and what i've done is um right at the right at the back i put my um ultimate favorite ones on there like we've got it um here well it was his fault he shouldn't have stood so close if you look at that and then we move on to the next one, which is um, appropriate for my dad because he loves car boots. And there's a really good one, like, where it's got charity boots out. I like to think he just, it's just me that underestimates his intelligence. Love that one. Um, this one's a good one. When mother offered to help, I don't think this is what she had in mind. <laughs> and then we've got... Um, Mrs. Jones, both feet on the step ladder, please. If it breaks off, you'll pay for it out of your wages. Then we've got, put my mother down. I mean, put this old bag in the boot. Ah, oh, just fantastic, that one. Then we've got, oh yeah, this one's a good one, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I can laugh, I can laugh at these, but I'm keeping my cool because I'm doing a video and I want to keep it cool, but um, basically, I've given you a thorough examination, Miss Fairbody, and I'm pleased to say that your ear infection has cleared up, <coughs> really, really good one, um, and I've got a few more, I'm getting nearer to the... Uh, the favourite ones of mine, um, we've got, um, it looks like, oh, this is a brilliant one, it's, it's a very good take on it if it was, um, Strictly Come Dancing. It looks like she'll be getting maximum points off the judges again. A real good one. It says, put, this one's a good one, I love this one. It says, put a prick in the bag. Yes, Fred, but they mean... With a fork. <laughs> and we're coming up to my uh, favourite four. My favourite four, including this one. Right. But, th but these are basically done, I suppose, with Blackpool in mind. Because, um, basically, um, the thing is, well... They could be with other seasides in mind, but they have got a reference to Blackpool in some of these. Which is, um, which is this one, which is like the Blackpool Tower bit. And it's got the Walk of Faith, because they have that in Blackpool. And it's got, unless I'm mistaken, there's a large crack in the glass. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Then there's this one, which has got Blackpool Tower, and it's at, Absolutely fantastic. This is, this is going to make you laugh. Do you mind, young man? I'm trying to take a photograph of a tower, but your balls are in the way. <laughs> it's just it's just the way that you look at that and you think the way that people, you know. And then my two ultimate favourites. I absolutely love this one. I told little Harry to go and ask the nice man over there if he could kick his balls. And then my favourite one, which is again a reference to Blackpool. 
because it shows you the Blackpool Tower outside the window. Oh, what a lovely sight. I can see it from here, standing proud, erect, and glowing in the dark. And not meaning something else. Ah! But yeah, I love these saucy postcards. And they've been going for years. I mean, I've, I've got a few older ones, I think, somewhere. And basically, um, I know that they were around way back in years, years gone by, 50s, 60s, and 30s, and 40s. And they've always been part of the um, generations of some people. But they're, hu they're, 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 they're innocent. As far as I'm concerned, they're harmless an innocent, fun joke that basically, um, there. The only problem is, I do find that, um, it's basically, um, not right sometimes these days, because I guarantee you there'll be a lot of people who'll see them and they'll probably say, they should be selling them, they should be doing them. It's not right, it's, um, but it's all harmless, because it's a bit like, in my opinion, if you go and see a comedian who's got adult humour, and they might swear, they might say things, basically in the tone of the joke and that, and it's adult humour. And usually what they would do is they say, if easily offended, don't come. And that kind of thing. And that's easy to, to do, and I think that's almost like them in the postcards. I just think they're harmless fun, but I love them. And I'm going to leave it there because there's not much more I can talk about on that one, but I'm going to talk about something else in a minute, which is um, something that um, I'm excited about from this week, but until then, bye for now.